Let's go ahead and demonstrate the Press Monitor 3 statistic features. When I turn it on, one of the screens that's going to flash by is the overall statistics, and here it comes. It'll keep track of how many overall rounds you've loaded, how many hours you've been at the press, and also an overall rounds per hour. But most of the statistics are related to the current session that you're in. Now, one of the things that I'll point out here is that you'll notice the, the rounds value starts out at a negative 3. The reason for that is because I've got a Dillon 550 which has four stations, and by the time I cycle it four times and get my first round hitting the bin, it'll read one, so that's why it starts at that number. The uh, time field indicates how much press time I have had on this press in this session. And currently you can see it's at zero, and notice that the colon between the zeros is not blinking. That means that press timer is stopped right now, it's waiting for me to start working on the press. What's interesting about this statistic is that if I stop working on the press and walk away, after 30 seconds of inactivity, that colon will go solid and it'll stop and it'll wait for me to come back. So that's a, a timer that starts and stops. Now the RMRD is the remaining number of rounds and the RMTM is the remaining time. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and down here where it says specify session, if I hold down this button for three seconds, it says it's going to take me through specify session. And it's going to say, do you want to reset the current session? I don't want to do that, so I just hit ignore. And it says specify rounds to load. And I'm going to go ahead and specify that we're going to load 100 rounds. Pretty easy to get to 100. And I'm going to continue. And I'm not going to specify charge weight right now. So now that I've specified that I'm going to load 100 rounds, the RMRD says we've got 100 rounds to load. The remaining time doesn't have anything to work with yet, but as soon as I start loading, it will. Now the, the bottom two statistics, one of which is um, rounds per hour with a C, is my current rounds per hour. So that measures the last 3 to 15 rounds that I've loaded and will tell me how fast I'm going. That's sort of a current speed. Then the RPHT is the total rounds per hour, and it actually calculates that based on the top two statistics. The rounds, how many have you loaded, and the time, how long has it taken you. So that's an overall rounds per hour. So I'm going to go ahead and start cycling the press, and I'm going to try to do it every five seconds, which if I remember right, I think is around 720 rounds per hour. We're going to see what we can do here. So there's one. Okay, I guess I'm going a little slower. Let me try to speed it up just a little bit. So you can see that my current one is based on actual loaded rounds. I'm going to be going a little bit too fast here now. But notice that the um, remaining rounds is counting down, and it thinks it's going to take me 11 minutes to finish this 100 rounds. But if I keep going this fast, that number is going to go down. What's really great about this unit compared to our, um, our simple press counter is that you can see all the statistics on the screen at one time. The other thing, and I'm not, I should have chose a shorter amount, will be a reminder to tell you that you're done. So we're going to go ahead and go in there and alter it. I'll show you why I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to go in specify session again and say, oops, not too far. I'm just going to load 20 rounds. Okay, so now I've only got six rounds to go. You see that the remaining time is zero because it's less than a minute. And at this speed, we go. Let's see what's going to happen when I run out of rounds to load. It's going to give me a reminder saying 
specified rounds loaded. Okay, you'll get a little quick beep. You'll also get a flash on the light, and um, then you'll know. Okay, I'm done for this session. So that covers the statistics. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and show you the overall statistics. If I go to Viewer Reset Statistics. This is the overall statistics. The screen gets flashed when you first turn it on, or you can come in to set up and take a look at it if you like. So it's added the rounds I've just done, which was 20 rounds or so, and it, it's got 0 0.2 hours, which is probably a little more than um, 10 minutes or so. And then it's got an overall rounds per hour, and I've just been testing this press, so that, that would be pretty slow. But um, you can reset those statistics if you want, but it'll always remember those from session to session, which is great because then you'll get an overall sort of uh, average of your rounds per hour, which is really great. So if you have any questions, please use the support link in the upper right corner of our website. It's um, pressmonitordevice.com. Thanks.